OpenAI's GPTs are gonna make a lot of people a lot of money, but only if you go into these next few months with a real strategy behind you. In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down a strategy that could change the game for your AI automation agency and fill the Calendly Canada every single week. Now I know a lot of people were worried about GPTs, but as you would have seen from my previous videos, I personally believe that this is one of the biggest opportunities when it comes to building an AI automation agency. And we're gonna see exactly why in this video. So let's jump into my computer and go over it together. You already know boys and girls, when the glasses are out, we're about to get nerdy and we're probably gonna teach you something pretty valuable. So let's do exactly that. Right, over this last week, we have seen the rise of GPTs. Now what are GPTs? GPTs are personal versions and customizable versions of basically chat GPT, right? So we can actually take these chat GPTs and we can turn them into our own personal assistants. Now, what that means is we can build assistants that mainly focus on social media. Maybe they are giving us advice on best ways to grow our socials. We can build agents that help us create coloring books. We can even build agents that help us with mechanical problems with our car. The list goes on and on and on. We're able to train these GPTs to basically handle anything and then we can tie them into Zapier that then has 6,000 plus applications that we can then use from there. We can get it to connect to our Gmail. We can get it to connect to our to-do list. We can get it to connect to our Stripe and actually issue payment links. Honestly, if you haven't seen the videos that I've been posting on GPTs, I do recommend you go and watch them after this video. But today I wanna show you what that opportunity is and what I'm most excited about. So it's clear to me that every single business, every single one can be using GPTs in some way, okay? Now our role as an agency is to understand how this business can actually start using them GPTs. A lot of the time you're gonna find with our AI automation agency, there's a level of education that we need to run and help our clients with in order for them to understand what AI tools they can use and how those AI tools actually help them, okay? Now I'm not talking about recommending AI tools like you can go and use chat GPT and it will do this for you. No, we're getting a little bit more creative with that. We're actually saying, okay, we can build you a tool that gives you internal resources from one prompt, or it helps onboard new clients, or it automates your lead management. So I don't know, for example, a lead qualification bot, maybe on WhatsApp. That is the worst WhatsApp logo you would have ever seen, but anyway. So that for now was our entire agency model. We was coming up with these new creative ideas and we were helping them build them and provide those solutions. Now, don't get me wrong, GPDs are fun and they're great, but it is kind of scary the rate that OpenAI is moving. So what do we need to do? We need to be at the forefront of that and we need to be sure that we're always on the leading edge and we understand exactly what OpenAI is doing so we can start integrate that into our agency. This model is new. It's under a year old, really, when you look at it. So we'd be idiots to think that we can guess exactly what's gonna happen and we're indestructible. We need to be adaptable, we need to be flexible and luckily the agency model gives you that opportunity and that is why I love it so much. So we actually talked about part of our education process is actually running an audit system for our different clients. Now that audit consisted of 20 scoping questions that we would ask every single client before we started working with them. We would then come up with creative solutions of what they could be doing, as well as giving them advice on how much it costs to do and the timeline of which it will take to make. We also gave them feedback on could we do it or is there an off the shelf opportunity for them there? And this helps us not only formalize a plan around every single client that we end up working with, but it actually helps us build trust with the clients that we work with too. So where am I going with this? Well, the audits have been amazing. But what we can now do is with GPTs, we actually have the opportunity to take our audit with all the questions we have. We can then run it through a GPT process where we can recommend them GPTs that are already on the GPT marketplace and actually just take it to these clients and say, there you go, you can use these GPTs upfront for free, this is how you do it. Oh, and also here are some custom solutions that cost you X, Y, and Z, okay? Now, what does this do for you? Well, number one, it builds trust. So client A now trusts us. He knows we're not trying to sell him something that he could easily set up himself. We provide value. We provide heaps of value up front because we've now actually plugged in these existing GPTs that have already been built and we've shown him how to use them. So he's now saved time on project X, Y, and Z, which means that he now understands AI and he's broken down those roadblocks that were originally causing him to say, how? How is AI beneficial for me? He now knows exactly how because we've tied in GPTs, okay? Now, what else? We display a level of competence. So we actually come across as experts now because we understand exactly how these GPTs can help. We understand the open AI landscape like the back of our hand. 
You'd be amazed. My girlfriend works for a massive agency here in the UK. They're doing like eight million pound a year, okay? So this is not a small agency. It's not an AI agency, but they have an AI guy inside of that agency who sends them emails every single week with updates. This guy is literally talking about stuff we were talking a week ago on this channel. And you're still telling me that there isn't an opportunity here to provide value. Like, trust me, people are not wrapping their heads around the strategies that can be done here. Now, some of you will be saying, okay, Liam, I get it. We're gonna build trust, we're gonna provide value, and we're gonna build competence with these clients that we work with. But how do we get paid? Because if we're giving an audit away for free and we're implementing and showing them the GPTs they can use, for free, then how do we get paid? Well, this is how it works. If you've already run the audit and you've already given them the GPTs based on the audit and based on the answers that you got from this audit, you know, I'm not talking about asking how many employees do you have and how much money do you make per year and what is your level of investment that you can put forward for AI tools. What I'm talking about is finding out what CRM are they using? What are the core pain points they're facing right now? How much is a client worth to them? How much time do they spend on customer service? Again, the audit process is something that I've gone over deeply on my YouTube channel already. So you can always go back and watch them videos after this one. But we are trying to understand the business as much as we can. You never go to a doctor and he starts prescribing you pills before he's even asked a couple of questions about what's actually wrong with you. And it's the same thing. We can't go to our client and say, this is how much it's gonna cost to build this tool for you if we don't understand what the problem is in the first place. So this is why this audit process is crucial. It usually leads to you being able to make more money. And now we have GPTs in place. It actually gives us another opportunity to just stack the value so that it's so, so heavy. They're getting so much. They're getting answers to the questions. They're getting GPTs. And then at the bottom here, we have our custom solutions and we have our next steps. The fact is, if you complete these two, chances are they are gonna be much more open to building a custom solution with you because like I said, they now understand the AI landscape. They now understand how AI can actually help them. And we've broken down that mental barrier of it being this big, scary thing that doesn't make any sense to them. Now, here comes the fun part. How are we gonna get in front of businesses? How do we structure our offer with this? Because yes, I get it, GPTs are this massive opportunity, but how do I then sell it into people? How do I teach people about it? So it all comes down to how we offer our services and how we actually structure that offer in the first place. Now, originally, if you've been running your agency for a long time, we used to reach out to people giving this like Trojan horse. I'm gonna draw a horse. That's a camel. And there you go. That's a fucking horse somehow. Um, we were giving away these Trojan horses, which were in theory chatbots that they would then get for free. We'd set them up using some third party software or maybe a voice flow template that we had. And then we would install it onto their website with the hope of then upselling more services or a retainer to create a higher level uh, chatbot for them. Now this does work. We would get like 60 to 70% open rate on our emails offering out free chatbots and our LinkedIn messages. But we now have a much more sophisticated way of getting in front of our audience and providing them value. And that is using GPTs as the Trojan horse. Now, like I said, what we wanna do is we wanna provide value up front and we wanna educate people on how AI could be helping them. If we come on over to ChatGPT right now, we can see these different GPTs that OpenAI has made as examples. And yes, they're not really anything that are super crucial or that are gonna benefit benefit a business right now except for maybe creative writing coach but again i've made another video where i go through and build a ai tool that is essentially a personal assistant for a business owner now over the next couple of weeks hopefully we're going to see a open ai marketplace where these gpts are getting added to them from third party people just like me and you so one we have an opportunity to create these gpts and actually push them on that marketplace and become like an authoritative figure in that marketplace and make money there but we also have an opportunity to download or purchase existing GPTs that people have already made that are specific for business needs. And we then just become a pharmacist, if you like, who has stock of all of these different GPTs that do all of these different things for these businesses. So after we run that initial audit, we know that client A needs this one, this one, they need this one and they need that one, all right? So they need four GPTs out of our arsenal of 20, for example. So what are we gonna be offering these clients? How are we gonna reach out? Well, this all depends on where you are at your level in your agency. If you are just getting started out and you've never worked with a client before, then you're gonna want to work for free. You're gonna wanna get some experience and you're gonna wanna get in front of people and start having sales calls. What you guys need to realize is 
the first three to six months inside of your agency, you don't get paid in dollars, you get paid in learning and you get paid in the skills that you're building up. Eventually, you get to then transfer those skills into money, but it's only after a certain time once you've actually got good at what you're trying to do. So if we're reaching out via email to people, we could be structuring our offer in a very loose way, essentially saying, hey, look, we audit companies. Actually, no, look, let, let's not use audit. Let's use evaluate or assist companies on how they can be using AI. Now, what we do with those companies is we actually give them access to free AI tools that can do X, Y, and Z. And now, like I said, maybe this is automate invoicing maybe it's social posts maybe it's content writing whatever it is it doesn't matter because we will be able to download the gpts that do what we need them to do so your offer is now gone from being a free chatbot for a website to now being a free audit to a free content writer a free social media planner a free web designer a free graphic designer and then the option for you to step in and help them build their own GPTs specific for their business. So look, the guys, the way that I see it, these GPTs just become an insane way for us to just bulk load value. Now, if you are sat there thinking, why the hell is client X, Y, and Z going to actually pay you or implement these systems when they can just do it themselves? Well, the reason why is because they don't have this piece here. They haven't conducted an internal audit in their own business. They haven't looked at their processes. They don't know their processes are broken. They just know that it's a struggle every time they clock in in the morning because this system's not working, this system's not working, and this system's not working. That's what we found with the clients that we're auditing, and that is where we're seeing the most opportunity because we're able to actually structure an offer around that client and actually give them a customized experience. It's not something that we just roll out. It is very much like, these are the systems that we build for these clients. This is the system that is broken for you. We're gonna implement this and it's gonna change this in X amount of days. Now, if you're confused about how you do the audit, well, why don't you just go and build an audit GPT? Why don't you go and build an AI, a GPT that does your audit for you and structures those audits based on the inputs that you put inside of it. I personally think that this is the new Trojan horse for AI automation agencies. I think this is the best way for you to provide value up front. And like I said, the more value that you can provide, the more you're gonna break down that barrier of someone trusting you, you're gonna become that go-to guy. I I listened to a podcast recently about Alex Hamozzi when he was working selling gym supplements. One of his best sales techniques was actually telling people to go across the road to buy one of the supplements. He said, it's cheaper over there. You may as well go over there. And then what would happen is the level of trust that that then client had for Alex would go sky high because they're like, wow, this guy is actually telling me to go to a competitor because it's going to save me money. Well, if he's saying that, then I'm going to believe everything else that he tries to sell me because he's obviously a trustworthy guy and he obviously has my best interest in mind. And this rule applies here. If you can provide an audit, if you can help them implement GPTs and you can help them educate without charging them a dollar, yes, doing it in a way that is efficient for you and actually makes sense, then you are gonna be onto a winner. And this question mark right here can lead to so many different things. You've now become the AI guy for this business. This is a long-term play. This is where you can build custom dashboards. This is where you can step in and do more automations. This is where you can step in and do outreach systems for your clients, just like we do. And this is where you can go in and you build more detailed chatbots for your clients as well. Chatbots definitely aren't dead. I don't think they're the be all and end all of an AI automation agency, but they are definitely not dead, so do not write them off. The way that I see it is GPTs are great for internal processes, okay? Currently, it's all OpenAI branded and it's really easy to access. These GPTs will level up once we access to that API and we can start calling on them from a custom UI that we've built for our clients that then just hijack, again, OpenAI and the GPTs that we structure and put together for that custom business. So guys, that is the strategy. That is a new Trojan horse offer that I think that you guys should look at, pay some attention to, I know it was a lot to go over today and I apologize if I spoke too fast, but I'm super, super excited and can't wait to get this into your hands and hopefully some of you guys uh, give this a shot, see how it works. I know I will be and I can't wait to just go out to all of our existing clients and just implement all of these GPTs for them. They're like, holy shit, these guys are the AI kings. That's a king's hat, by the way. Anyway, 
back to the camp. So there you have it. That is my strategy with GPTs. This is something that you can put together. It's so, so simple. And we're just getting the opportunity to keep building on top of the new things that we discover and the new opportunities that we start to work with. So we've gone over the audit process before in several videos, and now we have the opportunity to bolt on GPTs to that. And like I said, it's all about providing value upfront for your client that breaks down barriers. It shows them that you're capable and you're competent, and it builds trust with these individual clients. Not only that, you're now left with an insanely valuable lead magnet that I believe every single business owner is gonna wanna bite your hand off for. So with that said, if you did wanna learn more about how to build your AI automation agency, make sure you join the network down below. There is a free section and there is a paid version. So it really is for everyone. And if you are excited about using GPTs, let me know down below in the comments. Tell me what you're gonna be using them for. And is this strategy something that you're gonna be using inside of your agency? I may be back tomorrow with another video. I'm not sure. If I come across something that I think is valuable, I'm gonna film it. I'm gonna show you guys that is the main purpose of this channel. I wanna help as many of you guys grow and build your agencies. So I'm gonna do exactly that. So with that said, that is it from me. I'm gonna leave you to enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'm gonna continue nerding out about GPTs. But anyway, catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.